guys welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel so in this video i will talk about how to test ai tools so there is a term called ai testing and it mostly refers how to use ai in the testing but here like i, I am talking about how to test ai tools itself like if you get chance to test uh, currently trending ai tools like open chat gpt or any other similar tools like uh, we have driverless cars or simulators image recognition ones so many things right so each and every product getting integrated with ai so whatever product you are testing it may get integrated with ai in 2025 onwards any time right so learning this topic is very important so recently i also get a chance to test some ai products and uh, we are testing uh, we are integrating our uh, product with uh, chatbots and other ai tools and we are getting different data sets and i need to test that so for that i also uh, got chance to test ai uh, ai recently so this is not work like uh, what normal products we used to test there is slightly difference in that but core principles remains always same so let's start on this so first thing is like uh, introduction what is importance of testing ai product like uh, as i told like ai is getting integrated with each and every product and ai is also very new and developing and also they are training different models there are no proven way right so testing the ai is very crucial like yeah, we don't know like how it will behave for certain types of data or for certain types of questions or uh, like on certain types of situation so for that uh, testing ai products is very important so what is the difference between testing traditional software versus ai system so as i told like ai systems are very new and in developing stage in trading, uh, traditional software, we always have like this is input and you will get that output. But in AI system, we don't know like based on the training data changes or prompt changes or any other things change, right? Or even AI use uh, based on the grammar, English grammar also, you, AI can think their own way and it will reply uh, different results for the same query. So this is how AI can be different from the traditional software. Also, traditional software databases are like mostly known or in-house or uh, uh, whatever things we are using, we know that. But for AI systems, mostly they use third-party one or even though data is there, we don't have access to that, like what models it is trained on, what data it is trained on. So how to simulate uh, whatever behavior we have, right? So that is very difficult in AI system compared to traditional software. So example of AI products like we now in 2025, we don't need to give like chatbots, recommendation system, image recognition tool, integration AI tools, uh, <coughs> automated drive car, drones, like whatever tools like if you are aware, you can comment itself. Also, you can comment like if you started testing AI somewhere or not, or still you are uh, testing whatever product you are testing. But if you are testing somewhat AI, you can give me insight like this is what I am testing and how I am testing. So that will be good. So now the knowledge required before testing the AI. So I will, I am not giving this knowledge right now, but I am telling like what all knowledge required. If required, I will create video like brief overview of AI concepts like ML deep learning, neural network, large language models. So what is that and how to use that, how it will work. So basic knowledge in required for that. Also like types of AI models, supervised, unsupervised, reinforcement learning. So you can check like whatever product you are testing is uh, uh, what concept it is it has and uh, what model it is using. So based on that, like you will some, get some idea like how, how to test this or how I get the test scenarios around that. Also common, common components for AI system, it is for all like how data set, which data set it is using, models which is used, used for training and interfaces. So this is what uh, uh, common components are there for all the AI products. So now, what is the challenges in testing AI? This is very important. First thing is data dependency, testing for bias, data quality, and data depth. So AI is all about data. Without data, there is nothing, right? So when you're testing that, you need to know like what is the data quality you are using for testing. Like you need to find proper data to test that. Also, we need to check it. the data is, should not be biased, right? Wherever you are comparing your data with AI and other products, you should be not biased. Like you should have proper data sets and it should give unbiased results. 
so this is what uh, it is important and like unpredictable behavior so in uh, outputs of ai system is unpredictable many times so how it handles that that is first thing and the second thing like whatever unpredictable things you are getting it is fair or not or it is like cor correct or not that is also you need to check and performance metrics like how to check the performance like accuracy so that is one of the performance metrics precision recall f1 score and all or all like a response performance like whatever performance we are in time we measure right that is also important so how the accurate uh, your uh, ai product is or whatever testing uh, ai product you are using how accurate it is so you need to give score like if you are asking 100 question and 90 questions are accurate that means 90 percent accuracy it has like precision recall like whatever uh, things you already ask and again you are asking so what happens now and there is called f1 score for ai models overall and uh, like response also i told like when you ask some question in what time it gives the answer like not all time bots are there like it is image recognition then when you give the image how much time it takes if it is driverless car right for example then like for certain situation how fast it calls like if a vehicle is going ahead how fast it recognizes it so those things are very really matters and ethical consideration that is most thing for ai products if you are developing ai product you are testing ai products whatever company you are integrating even ai products from third party you need to be aware about the fairness of uh, how fair it is like so sometimes whatever ai replies on some uh, things that is controversial then it gives a, a, a huge loss to the company and transparency like ai should not hide some information based on the their model and explainability like so when i ask like what a question some question to ai yeah how to increase my followers and whatever explain uh, explanation it gives it should be easy to understand and all so this is what uh, we are talking so if it is a bank uh, which is which are incre integrating ai in their website right and uh, you check your portfolio and it is giving some future insight like uh, based on your income you should invest in this this this, this. so how fast uh, it is adapting it how fair it is how transparent it is and uh, how, how much uh, good way how it, it can explain it right so this is what uh, you need to take care like these are the challenges while testing ai now how to do actual testing like this is the practical approaches to testing ai it is not different than other like core principle remain always same so for example test data validation so this is what we do for normal also right but here we need to do like ensure data set are diverse and unbiased so whatever data we are using that should be unbiased it should be diverse it should be clean enough to that uh, model get trained on also like it should be usable in real life kind of that like not for testing only like test one test two test three right so mostly ai system understand uh, uh, practical approaches so your data should be like that only other is like model testing so what model you are using in ai is very important so first of all like uh, that we tester won't decide but whatever model uh, model is used right so first thing we can do is black box testing and it, this ai is mostly black box because we don't know like uh, how it is written or how what data i trained on or how, how how they are getting trained like day by day so that thing mostly we don't know so we need to do black box testing whatever input we are giving we should get output and we need to find the correctness fairness whatever we talk about that output second thing is white box testing so here like how to do white box testing because we don't know how much code they have written and how they are working but uh, we can uh, go through the architecture like uh, how flow is going like when you are asking question where the request is going from uh, response if we are, whatever we are getting from ai where it is used and from there what data we are fetching and what data we are uh, displaying to the customer so that flow you can check and you can find the flow like uh, if there is a issue with that or it is behaving for all the question it is being same way or not other thing is like prompt we are giving to ai so sometimes like if we are using third party ai tools right we give them a prompt like please for these keywords do not give response for these keywords like it is a bank's website and i ask like uh, 
some queries like for example share market about share market so they have given the prompt if user asks share market please suggest our uh, uh, website that uses for share right so those kind of thing uh, prompts are given to the ai key in certain situation we have like this certain situation we have like this so there a prompt we can go through that and we can check like if it is correct or not if there are any flow or not and uh, adversarial testing testing with unexpected or edge cases input so in ai what all the issues are with edge case only because main model will be trained and it is built testing but in edge cases if you ask certain way it may fail so you need to find those edge cases like uh, with complex queries then uh, after it comes algorithm testing so we can't test all the algorithm but what we can do is like we can compare the results of algorithm like in this we are getting 90% accuracy in that we are getting 95% accuracy for this uh, performance is good like we are getting instant replies for this performance is like it get delayed uh, response so this is how we can compare with the algorithms that are used or available and then performance testing like evaluating the speed scalability and reliability that is like like a normal whatever chatbot if you, even without ai to tools right whatever the product we are doing we need to do same with the ai product as well and alpha beta testing comparing ai model version for better performance so whatever the proven models are there we can compare with that if your product is new you can compare with proven one if it is already using third party one then we can use uh, we can compare with other third party tools as well and ethics and bias testing so that is very important for ai as we have discussed like if uh, it is not ethical then uh, like user can uh, violate some rules and uh, some uh, uh, even company get troubles for that and uh, by it should not be biased also like uh, uh, it should be fair for uh, all the scenarios and real it should understand like this can create controversy in real life so you need to find such kind of questions as well so this is how uh, you should test the ai if you get chance to test the ai so what are the takeaways first of all the team is very important for ai testing because nobody is like uh, provenly experienced much experience in this whatever we are testing in 2025 and uh, so collaboration between tester developers and data scientists is important like what algorithm you are using what data you are training for models we can take the guidelines from data scientists like how uh, what while preparing the data or while preparing the test cases we can ask like our data scientists like uh, whatever the model we are testing or whatever ai product we are testing uh, like how it is developed they give insights and you get more ideas around it so collaboration is very important second thing is like encouragement to explore more resources on ai testing so sometimes what happens is like there are so many resources data scientists are there so many developers are there but uh, there are not enough testers for that and uh, uh, data scientist knows like it's in this uh, situation it's, it behaves like that but yeah testers don't know that and it can test it like end user so having more testers can benefit uh, uh, giving the uh, getting the good uh, bugs and uh, performance results and all right so that is very important so thank you guys if you have any question feel free to ask and uh, uh, please like this video and share it to your network and subscribe this channel feel free to comment your valuable thoughts like on ai if what we have talked like even though you have tested this before and you know like this point should be there or uh, what is the experience you got right you can share that and please follow this uh, channel and uh, follow us on social media as well links are given in the description thank you